Yo, what's going on boys? Hope y'all are doing well this fine Sunday morning. I know my upload schedule has been a bit slower, but trust me, I'm working on some heat at the moment, so hit subscribe so you do not miss out on what's coming next. I for real appreciate how fast we've been growing, and the more people that are here means the more people that I can help. So thank you guys, and I'll keep dropping the sauce as long as y'all keep showing the support. But anyways, today I'm gonna break down how you can make the best shake effects inside of Premiere Pro, and no, you don't need any fancy plugins or anything crazy like that. All you need is my knowledge and some of your creativity, and you'll be pretty much all set. So make sure to stick around to the end of the video to understand how to really master this essential type of effect because no matter what you're editing you're gonna need to know this and if you don't then damn it's gonna be a painful process each time you open up premiere pro but enough yapping boys let's hop into it all right so now that we're inside of premiere pro the first thing that we're gonna come and do is add an adjustment layer and if you don't know how to do that already basically come to the right side right here on the project panel you're gonna right click go to new item and add adjustment layer make sure everything is matching with your comp and click ok and you can just drag that in like this. Now you're probably wondering, uh, but Tom, how, how do I know how long each adjustment layer should be? Well, let me explain. I haven't seen anybody else explain this on YouTube. So let me be the first to do it and leak the sauce. So basically we have like right here, as you guys can see, five different adjustment layers with different lengths. And I'm going to go ahead and explain how long they are and what they do and how you should use them. So basically for all fast shake, transition, hits, flickers, wipes, or whatever, six frames usually works the best because you will get the fastest range of motion and it will just be an overall pretty fast transition. So keep it four to six frames for fast shake transitions. And then the next adjustment layer right here is eight frames long. So that is still for pretty fast transitions, but with more flexibility and range of motion so you can just make it move around a bit more and it won't look too weird and now for the 12 frames one this is usually one that i like to play with i think it looks super cool it's a bit slower but it looks a lot smoother and gives you even more range of motion and you can really play around with how the shake bounces it's not slow it's just smooth if that makes sense and now for the next one which is 16 frames long this one is just for slower transitions in general and it gives you more flexibility with how you can move your shake and it's just pretty slow this usually looks good for slower transitions or even for just like for example adding this to like the end of the clip so having like a shake start here and it just ends right here at the end of the clip so that's usually pretty good for that and for 20 frames and more you just you would just like throw this on top of your clip to like give it energy or just add like some shakes to the whole clip without really adding transitions so if that doesn't make sense drop a comment down below and i'll try to explain that a bit better to you so while this manual method does work pretty well i know it can be time consuming and that's why i spent months developing energy v1 and v2 now it's all just drag and drop i can throw on shakes flickers hits literally all in seconds and i pretty much use these presets on every single music video that i edit and just on a day day basis in general i wouldn't even be able to tell you how many hours these presets have saved me in my editing career so far i mean except for the fact that creating these presets took me weeks and months to perfect but at least now i can use them without ever having to make them from scratch again also if this tutorial helped improve your editing process consider subscribing for more quick tips just like this and weekly tutorials also check out the energy presets link down below they're on sale it's not gonna last forever so take advantage while you still can but anyways now we're gonna get into the actual effect itself i'm gonna be using an eight frame long adjustment layer for this video you guys can use whichever one suits your best interest but for me i'm going to be using the eight frame one because i usually like working with eight frames since it gives me a bit more of a range of motion so the first effect that we're going to throw onto this is the one that's going to make the entire shake which is going to be a transform effect so we're going to come right here and just drag transform onto it and usually you can crank the shutter angle up to like 360 but for me i always keep it at 180 i usually think that looks best and you just want to uncheck this box right here and you're all set and we're gonna begin making the shake. So for this one, I think I'm gonna make a shake that kind of just like either goes side to side or up and down. So actually, yeah, let's just do side to side, let's do it. So first thing we're gonna do is position keyframe right there, right at the beginning and the scale as well, right? And we're just gonna zoom in so we can get a better look at our timeline. And what I'm gonna do is go to the middle right where the clip splits and I'm gonna make the uh, scale like something crazy, like 180. And then we're gonna go all the way to the end of the adjustment layer and we're gonna reset the scale. So now we're gonna get this kind of movement at first. Looks static, bland, but don't worry. Everything is about to come into play. So now what we're gonna do is go two frames ahead and we're just gonna play with the position and like drag it all the way to the side right before these black borders, just right there. And we're gonna go two frames ahead again and swing it all the way to the left this time. Two frames ahead again and we're gonna bring it slightly back to the right just like that not all the way and then we're gonna go two frames ahead again and reset so now we have this kind of shake effect you see that was super fast but i usually think this shake left to right looks better on 12 frames not eight frames eight frames is a bit too fast but you guys get the gist 
but as you guys can see we are getting these black borders right here so what you can go ahead and do is just drag the like scale like right there so we don't get that black border going on and now as you can see it's pretty clean we don't have that issue and we have this shake it looks pretty fire and now what we can do to make this even better is add a brightness and contrast so we're just going to come right here to brightness and contrast i'm going to search that up and i'm going to put that right onto the clip i'm going to keyframe it right here at the beginning i'm going to go to the middle of the clip right where it splits i'm going to make the brightness something like 60 and the contrast bring that up to like 29 and we're just going to come right back to the end and we're going to reset but that's not all the way at the end so i'm just going to drag those right there so now we have this flash and as you guys can see, that literally took two minutes. It looks insane already. And if you want, you can play around with the keyframes and make them like easy eased or whatever. So I think I'm going to do that for the uh, position and scale. So I'm going to grab these two keyframes. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to temporal interpolation. And I think I'm going to do ease out. And then I'm going to come to this one right here. I'm going to go to temporal interpolation and go to uh, auto bezier or sorry, not auto bezier, uh, continuous bezier. I'm going to go to that, do the same thing for this next keyframe. Same for this one. I'm gonna make it continuous bezier and then I'm gonna try to grab the last one. I can't really see it though. <laughs> I can't really get the last one. There it is, okay. And I'm gonna make this one ease in and I'm gonna do the same thing for the scale keyframe. I'm gonna make that one ease in and the one in the middle, we're gonna make that continuous bezier. So now it's just gonna smooth everything out. As you guys can see, the animation looks way smoother. Oh my god, this looks crazy. Uh, I low-key might just add this one to energy V3. <laughs> this one is crazy. So I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. As you guys can see, it literally just takes a couple minutes to make, but it is annoying to make from scratch every single time, and that's why I went ahead and made those presets for you guys. So on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'm going to come back with another banger video on Sunday. So subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications to stay tuned, because more sauce is coming, boys. Y'all are not ready for what's coming next. So stay tuned, lock in, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.